Coccidiosis is one major poultry disease that affects birds of all ages. Unlike viral poultry disease, coccidiosis can be treated and cured completely. There are also vaccines that have proven to be very effective for control of coccidiosis. For the purpose of effectiveness and cost reduction, I will dwell on various herbal remedies for coccidiosis and how to administer them for effective results. And some tricks to help you as well. Just watch till the end. What's up my people? Welcome life of a Love. We will discuss farming in details. I remain your anchor, Ishokri of Okironi. You can call me Ovorans, and if this is your first time of coming across my videos, you are welcome. Just ensure to subscribe, like, share, and drop your questions in the comment section. A special thanks also to all my old and new subscribers. You guys are awesome. Without wasting your time, let's dive into the main cocoa. Cosidiosis, also read to as cosi, is a major threat to poultry farmers, most especially in broiler production. It could be frustrating to control as even after medication in less than a week, you see its symptoms again. Before I go in details, I will tell you one major trick which I termed trick number one. And don't forget, there are also tricks which I'm going to reveal in the course of this video. But for the trick number one I use on my poultry beds to control it is to ensure that the litters are always dry. And I make sure to scoop out any wet litter. If this is done, you are on the way to reducing cozy infection. Follow through because I will unlock some other tricks which have helped me a lot. But first, what are the signs of coccidiosis in poultry? The signs and symptoms to look out for for confirmation of cozy among your flock are that in young chicks, they are likely to have dropping of feathers accompanied by ruffled feathers. Bears will stay off it and there will be diarrhea that will be watery or sometimes even bloody. Bears will reduce the rate of water consumption and they will also have weight loss. So at this stage now, if it is not treated, you begin to notice mortality which will occur in numbers. All these can be avoided. The best approach is to prevent it rather than finding cure which will make me to tell you the trick number two that works effectively. And this trick I use on my farm is to turn the litters in every two to three days interval. This is the incubation period of most disease causing organisms. All you need to do is gather the litters and spray them again or when working on the pen you can use your feet to rake and gather and spread them all over this method will break their circle and their eggs will be destroyed and this should be done every two to three days interval stay tuned for the next trick as a farmer i have used different organic herbs for my poultry beds for control of coccidiosis and one that works wonders is garlic and ginger i must tell you the truth that very much more effective for control of coccidiosis than bitter leaf and others and I will tell you the reason and why you should add it to your boiler ration from day old. To understand better, garlic has other importance if administered to broilers as it aids also in rapid and fast growth and weight in broilers. You can check out the details and how to use it by checking the description box or click the box by the end of this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your bell icon for prompt updates when I upload a new video. Also like, share and drop your questions in the comments section. Thanks. This garlic I'm talking about, when I saw the effectiveness in response to control of coccidiosis, I decided to find out more about it outside growth promoter and weight gain. And you all will ag agree with me that the mostly used drugs for coci are the amprolium and the sulfur. And this sulfur that we are talking about, they are also present in large quantities and in different forms in both garlic and ginger. No wonder they are very effective in control of coci. At this point, I would draw trick number three which is to make sure to always remove the litters after administering treatment for cosy. This is to break the chain of subsequent reinfection after treatment. Don't fast forward yet and don't end the video because there is a fourth trick and also I will tell you how not to use it. Now let me give you details on how best to use garlic for effective results. And here are the steps. Step one is to start as soon as possible. To get, to get the best from garlic, make sure to crush it. At the start, I will recommend that you use one clove to four liters of water and you can increase it gradually once you notice your chicks are used to it. For instance, you can then use one clove to three liters of water and thereby you make it to be one clove to two liters. And lastly, 
one clue to every one liter of water. That is when they are very used to read. Then, step two is to make sure not to allow your garlic water to exceed 24 hours, meaning you have to replace it once it's 24 hours because the effects of crushed garlic weakens after 24 hours. Then, step three, make sure to give your best three to four days in a week for better results. You can also add some quantity of ginger along with the garlic. For best result, it is better to start with with them at day old, at day old when they are still in the brooder house. And now to the big issue of how not to use garlic. One thing to note is that do not cook garlic that you intend to give your brellas. This is because cooking of this um, garlic reduces the level of its effectiveness. So it is better to crush it and administer to your bears through water. The second most important point is that excessive or high level of garlic can cause liver damage in chicks. So moderation is the key factor. And onto the last trick, but before then, there are other alternative forms of garlic such as garlic powder or oil. But in all of this, the most effective of all still remains fresh raw garlic that is crushed and this is more pocket friendly. And to the last trick, which is trick number four and the most important of all is for you to subscribe, like, share and drop your questions in the comments section. You can also click the end screen now to watch how to use garlic as growth booster and the playlist on organic farming. See you in my next video. Thanks. Peace out.